thank you for coming. Right now, we are sat in front of little screens. Some of us on chairs, some on the floor, others lying on our beds or with children in our laps. Laptop whirs, quietly fizzing and popping and phones flash different colors. But we are all here together, although it may not feel like it. Outside my window, I can see a tree, a big branched tree. The leaves are as green as the season turns to summer. Maybe some of you can see trees as well. We have imagined ourselves as trees, our words as the soil, enriching us, humming beneath our feet. These poems are about us, our trees and leaves, and we invite you to think about yours too. To think about your bodies as the trunks, your ideas as the leaves on the trees. To join us as we listen to the rustle of each other's thoughts in the wind. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. East Africa, mountain mama, take me home. Where is my home? Where do I come from? My childhood, my memory, life built on hilarity. Where I used to wake up by prayer, I can still hear the sound of the preacher. The church bell ringing, the mosque leader calling, the rooster, my alarm to start my daily do. Do I belong to that place? Where is my home? The imprinted word in my mind, your home is not this world, but in the sky up in Eden. Do I belong to what's written? Where is my home? Do I belong to this free land? My body lives without soul. My, my presence secluded. My safety has a proper veil. Where is my home? Where is my home? Question remains. No answer for belongingness. Where is my home? Let's start from childhood. Chicken white, white dog, cigarette smoke. Moschino perfume, curry chicken, stagnant water, order market, fresh vegetables, mint tea leaves. Gutter, fresh bread, the smell of farm, the smell of trees. When I was little, I was told, you need to be sweet, clever, and fast like horses. Born in big family is like grandpa with his giant digit brown old style wristwatch counting every tick. Grandma sitting on rocking chair right in the corner with freshly blended, blended coffee. The hall is bright with glittering light. Aroma of freshly cooked food, chatpati chaat, sizzling lemon and flaming hot spices, running nose and coughs. Shouting, running kids, chasing each other, giggling with kiki sounds. I had to climb up the red fake leather armchair to reach you arms wide with the broadsheet to settle somehow on your chair arm sort of in your lap the foreign news section your chin stubble prickles the back of my head and neck the scent of soap and shaving foam but there are no words between us that i can remember we watch TV. 
You're behind the paper there, but not there. The lights go out. A power cut. Thanks to Mr. Heath and the coal mines. There's a disturbance as pages are set aside. Candles are found, lit and sighted. But there are no words between us that I can remember. My grandmother's hands, I want to hold her. Deep cocoa lines map her journey from rich soil to concrete pavements, something she never experienced before. I remember my youth. I remember being young and broke. I remember the thirst cracking my throat. Pow fell L. Pow fell L. The crackling starts in the wine that knocks your knee. You walk and fall. You stand and fall. <laughs> Looking at this big branch tree, I'm back in Karachi, aged 11. My family house with chateau tree, my favorite chateau tree. Under your branches, under your umbrella, the floor is cold, like concrete, like ice. I sit on your trunk and steer your branches and you, you are my first ever car. I plucked your berries and your wavy branches from my hair. The excitement of climbing to your highest branch. Lion hair kept down. When I am in this place, I'm a mountain. I'm made of thunder. I'm made of the power of the light causing the sky. I'm made of the fear people see in the sky. I'm made of the storm that challenges the earth. I'm made of the lava that causes the earth to shake. I am the lion's head. I am the mountain of hope. Slowly awakening, her brick red veins come alive. From Kitty to BV, Diana's arms stretch far and wide. Beating hearts of diversity like white light pulsing through prisons. Kali, Kaimi, Kodigi, all of them simmering in one big pressure pot. One people, one nation, one destiny. The land of Diana, you wed Nigeria to create me. I belong to this free land. 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 You be Babesaya. Ni pacificateur jusqu'au bout. Vital Kameni. You manoga. In the refugee camp, it is too warm. No green, no flowers, no enough water. In Kenya, I miss the rivers of my country, the Awash, the Wabe, the Web. Rivers give me oxygen. I miss the fresh fruit of my country, oranges, guavas, sugarcane. I miss the animals of my country. Lon Ardavi Hola. I cannot go to the countryside. We have to stay in the refugee camp. I miss a lot of things, but Kenya saves me. Please, 
stay with me from the window. The wind is me and it may have something to say. Perdu? Es-tu perdu? Lost. lost. Are you lost? Are you lost? In the loft of language, my words shut like a clap in thin air. My word in Lingala feels like a moving spirit that's calling out my chin. Lost in translation. Was I that young and called to learn so many languages? I want to learn English, Arabic. When I was a baby, my mom taught me Arabic. It was like the word flew into my head. When when, when I was seven, when I was seven, I forgot my Swahili. It was like the worst thing I could have said at that point. There are no words between us that I can remember. One morning there's a commotion in the bathroom. Mum calls for help, which she would never do. And the next time I see you, there are two men in black clothing, sleeves rolled up, struggling with your pink, bristled form in the bathroom doorway. Just wait in the other room, son. There's a good lad. Newspapers were bigger then, so you were hidden from me, or hiding. And there are no words between us that I can remember. I found myself stranded on the road, head down. I carry a bag with me. Like a madman, I picked myself walking, rubbing the tall grass and weeds growing from my neighbor's wall. I am that giant palm tree with no leaves at the edge. I missed the chance to catch a drop of rain. One of my branches fall and found itself on a rock lost at sea. There are no weeds, no monster, just you and your weird eyes, your own mind sailing in the lost land, floating for hours, for 50 days. I hold my breath and hear my name, Dio, 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 the leaves staring at me from the window. Looking at this big branch tree, I am back in Karachi with a shatu tree. Then one day, my tree, my silent friend was gone. I came to the land of hope and glory in the back of lorry when driving on the left lane in the mandatory they are so polite not inflammatory it's a new lamp for me and territory I substitute inflammatory life for a laboratory please I learned to make discussion about the worst situation we are calling the refugian who cross with the cardinal here in front of the until you are after the center after that we move to the telephone and something to eat, probably lucky to cover your feet. We live here about people like a Pakistan spirits. I don't like to speak about problems happening every day and every week. Every night, a ray of moon hope, like fresh air, touches my cheeks through half-open window. 
Memories of stars brighten my room. Moon soon rain washes my worries. I smell burning wood far away. I smell kids socks neighbors cooking. I see your shadow under a fully grown tree far away. It is snows and I see your footprints. I can taste the hail if I reach out my hand. I remember the way enjoyed our freedom together, which is like a dream now. The birds sing in rhyme, unaware of me. I walk past a tall building and saw this cloudy sky resting the sun. So I stopped and after. What was it doing? To my surprise, it, it tells me it was hiding the stars. So small on this hilltop, I stand all alone. Look up to the clouds flowing in the deep steel sky and dancing across them a crow's inky outline. The winds playing chase don't realise their own strength. My sense of self grows. Till the tree groans are the language I speak. Till I hear the hum of the stone beneath my feet. I walk in the rain barefoot and feel uneven ground. The calmness sound of the dripping drop. The rainwater under my feet. The soul saying, I belong here. I belong here. One city was dark to me when I first arrived. Now it is light. I didn't have friends. I couldn't understand the language. I didn't know my place. My first home, I live on Morga Road. I was excited but scared of being lost. Now I know my place. I can understand the language. I have friends. I can see different people with different culture coming together. I walk the streets echoing with remembered footsteps. In the park, the tied up swings tie knots around my heart. And here is a common phrase. Right now, we are living confused days. We hide, we cannot embrace. But now, what show us to light? I am here to sing with you from the balcony to word of fear. I am here to write your poetry, to read yours, to keep dreaming beauty in this moment of darkness. I am here to pray with you, to ask God to protect us whatever they may be. I am here to wait together for the light. I am here to rainbow to appear in the sky. <laughs> Now, it's the moment of truth. During the lockdown, we wrote a letter to each other, so... Uh, now, we open. open them for the first time. I will start. To your Danos, from Nazia. You know, your smile is contagious. Your eyes are bright like, like sunlight. <laughs> Your daughter is adorable. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I'm next. Let's see. Oh, this looks lovely. The letter from, from Sarah to me. 
you are a mountain, you are a lion, you are thunder. Power lies within you. Overcoming life's heartless, heartless is your forte. <laughs> so mine here is from Dio. He says, your presence in our rock band just added salt in this tasteless chicken soup I have been trying to eat for days. I remember how your words in the storm lyrics made our cheekbones rumble with laughter. This letter is from Ian to me and it's um, saying, I see your orange head scarf and your smile. I think of you with the people's gaze. What you see is what others see, but more. You see what matters in the probing heart. Thank you. Okay, me next. My letter is from Severa. Um, dear Carolyn, Carolyn is my important friend because you changed my mind. Before you were teaching me, I was thinking at this age, I can't do anything. My letter is from... My letter is from Carolyn. You are deep, darkly, bright, Pink and turquoise. The shoot, the shooters crazy and the louder of two girls, two boys. You are ready, handies, letting my hair so nearly. And my letter is from you, Dana. It says, Dear Sarah, thank you for your beautiful personality, even though we never sit, chat, and have coffee together. But the words we share during our sessions introduce to us so much louder. Sarah, in the Bible, expressed as a humble woman who was loyal. I confidently can say you are a, gener you are a generous, humble girl. Your smile is like a warm wind which fills a lung in a cold weather and the depth of your voice is like a cathedral bell, reminding that we are all the fabric of our ancestors. I hope you always glitter and sparkle on earth. When you write, your words fill a void. They squirm to be read. Now scribbled, those words leave behind them the snug space they used to occupy like stones from a waterfall reach into its pool and watch your ch hands change shape within its skin scoop handfuls grab them see the liquid swirl as your fists surface Open those hands now, smarting from the keen turn in temperature. They're just dull stones. Or are those not fine traces of rare gold? Let's see. <laughs> the tears the onions bring. Verses so deep that you can smell each subtle layer of spice. Cardamom, cinnamon, cumin. Each word like tearing your teeth through fresh chapati. I carry my son the love of my children. I feel strong when I break my fast, strong 
when I walk work for the end of mine. When I'm done, does that offer us? I could smell perfume. I could hear the alarm beginning. There were people praying. I could feel the heart. I am made of velvety plucked petals and love of my children. Cheeky children. I'm made of thunder. Uh, I'm the power of the trident that strikes the sky. I am a mountain of hope. I am made from the fabric of my ancestors, breathing the strength of a nation. I am one with the earth, chanting songs of freedom. I am made of my daughter. Bubbling words, I only understand. Twinkling fingers inside my hand, growing unnoticed like trees filled with leaves in summer. Constant voice calling, Mama, Mama. A golden day made my world green and blue. My little me who cheered my heart, my bubble wrap who held my hand, she asked me not to let go. She thinks I hold her, but she holds me in reverse. I hope her hopes are as bright as today, her world is to be green and blue. With nimble fingers, we build connections that change our world and our town. Alarm goes off. It's cold outside this farmland. The birds are singing. It's early morning. Feel the warmth between the sheets and the bed. You look out the window and see the universe stretched as a drum. We do not know the heat of the rhythm. Bells and tills, glasses and horns lost their voice. Cities become black and white, more blurred with morning dew. You remember your mother telling you, teach a man to fish and you shall feed him every day. Welcome stranger with breaking bread. A black home is a home that is deserted. People have stopped caring for one another. Care for strangers, she says. The green, the flood of seasoning storm, the rain never ending fishes. See how they will gather all these salty fishes and bring them to your kitchen. You look through the half tight fully lined curtains. A bright sun started burning your skin. You see double decker bus leaving its shelter. Next to the oldest carpet shop, you can see a shadow of yourself under a fully grown tree. Branches wave at me outside the window, like the glow of sunflower on the farmland. We choose to dance with our heartbeat strings. Faker, jale, love. Jale yet. Ay. Prem, mohabbat. Galatoma, welcome. Olingo, Lief, Amour, Lerato, Mapendo. Love! Hope is a canvas. We draw our heart bits on it.
thank you all so much for watching that. It was such a pleasure to have you and congratulations to you brilliant, brilliant poets. I'm gonna give you a round of applause before we do the Q&A. That was a thing of beauty. Thank you for sharing your words with us. It was so moving and I think it just shows what a family we have become because all of your voices were flowing into each other so beautifully. I, I had teared up multiple times, it was amazing. Um, thank you to everybody who's been watching the show. It was a pleasure to have you all with us. We I have got time for about seven minutes of Q&A. Um, so thank you so much, Catherine, for kicking us off with your wonderful question. What more can we do to make life warmer? I think that's a question that we can all ask ourselves multiple times. And Nazia, I wondered if you had any thoughts on that because you write so beautifully in your poetry about how people can connect with the world around them and with each other. What do you think we could, we could all do to make life warmer for each other? The thing is like um, before that there was no concept of having a something like um, poetry and live performance on online. And uh, we never, we were just excited, but uh, worried that how it will look like. But there is one way we find out that uh, when we want to do something, there is a will, there is a way. And um, we are trying our best and we can think about it that what we can do, but uh, our words, I think meanings a lot and then they can warm more. So I think we can write more and share poetry, but um, because, um, more uh, words we collect, more we can uh, write. And when we write, we can share. And when we are sharing, it's, I think uh, we, there is one way to connect it. So I think if it's from me. I think that's absolutely true. I think tonight is evidence of how much words can connect us all. It, I feel so connected to all of you and to also to the people who've been listening and, and watching on the chat. It's been a real pleasure. Um, and I completely agree, Nazia. Thank you. We have also got a couple of questions that we would love to ask, um, including to the wonderful Sarah who kicked us off this evening, who writes so beautifully about everything from where you've come from, where you feel like you're going, about your family and how the generations that come before us shape, shape who we are. And I would love to know how you feel writing about those things has kind of changed your relationship with, with the things that you write about. Um, I feel like for me writing is really like cathartic and everything that I feel I like just release it into the words and it helps me like to deal with things like in life in general and like I think as well with writing you find different ways to express things that you're feeling that you didn't know that you could before and it makes you look at things differently as well which is really beautiful um I think in anything like it's even made me like especially writing about like back home or like where I've come from or my family and stuff I think it just kind of like in a way like there's a gap that I didn't even know that was there because I kind of like learn a lot more and like have to do research or whatever and I have deeper conversations with family members and stuff like that so it is a really beautiful way of kind of expressing the way you're feeling and I think people think that well you have to be like a scholar to like write poetry but it's just a beautiful process in itself and all of us have come together like whether we've been writing for ages or just decided because it's something that we enjoy to do and I just think it's really beautiful really. I think that is yeah. so true I you know the, the bit in the show where you show your hand and you show the cocoa lines that are in your grandmother's hand and also in yours it feels like through poetry, you can notice the tiniest things that like you look at your hand yeah, exactly. and suddenly your hands become this thing that is a window to your grandmother and the power yeah. of the simplicity of that is, is amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Connie to ask another couple of questions. Hello, so I have a question for you, Dio. Um, I know you were part of Migration Matters Festival last year as well as this year. And I wanted to ask what the festival has meant to you. Um, last year and now? Well, um, the festival actually, um, I'll say it gave me a voice to speak, um, not myself, but for a lot of people, you can see the diversity of, of people actually performing in this festival, which is awesome. It's uh, just to celebrate um, in migrants um, all around the world and um, 
Um, I think I think it's quite an honor also and a privilege to work among wonderful and most talented authors, and I've been learning so much from them. Um, and yeah, I, I've developed. Um, I mean, I grew back my wings into writing poetry again. Um, I think the idea of being part of a group of artists is what's so wonderful about this festival. Um, how you can be influenced by all the other amazing performances and acts and workshops that have happened this week. And also, we all wrote as a group when we wrote this poetry. Some bits were written alone, but a lot of the workshops happened together. And I thought maybe, Yodanos, I could ask a bit about what it was like to, to write in a group um, and how that was different to maybe writing alone. Um, yeah, uh, writing in a group is uh, far way different than ri writing uh, by yourself because when you are writing by yourself, you just only write what's in your mind. But when you write in a group, it's just an inspiration. Somebody's idea can give you, um, let's say, if I raise one issue, another person can raise that issue and make it bigger and bigger. So um, writing in group is more inspirational than writing by yourself. Uh, it's, it's good to write by yourself but it's like only spitting out your mind, uh, but you are not giving to other ideas. You are not sharing ideas with others. So I like writing with groups. One is it's, uh, you get a motivation, uh, an inspiration and a lot of ideas, which you never think of. Like somebody can raise a glass so you can write about the glass in different way. Uh, anyone can express their feelings in a different way. So I like writing in a group. I think that's so true. It feels like that for, for all of us. And, and even just to be here and to know that there are so many people outside this, this Zoom as well who are watching and, and interacting with us is really, really special. Um, I just spotted another question on the chat, actually, which I thought um, I might ask to Kerouin. How, how was it different performing to a camera rather than to a live audience? Because we all as a group um, performed together in the Winter Garden in Sheffield in February. And it's been a real journey. Obviously the world has gone through huge change since we performed together and were, were shoulder to shoulder. And now we are shoulder to shoulder, but in a very different way um, on our Zoom screens. And I wondered how, how different that's felt. Yeah, it, it's funny because at first when I was you know, going to perform on to a screen, I thought, oh, I won't be nervous because, you know, you can't see anybody, there's nobody there. But actually, I think I was more nervous because there was nobody there, um, because you have less of that that feedback um, from the audience and you don't know, you know, normally you see people smiling or, or whatever and it's like, oh. Um, but at the same time, it was good doing it through this because I've done my poetry just by myself and then doing it with you guys because I had the smiles of all of you. <laughs> So that's the great thing about Zoom, where you can actually see people rather than just streaming live on, you know, on your phone. You can see the other people in the group and see everyone smiling. So, yeah, and it's, it felt like we were together, even though we weren't. Like, I really, really felt that connection with everybody. Me too. I realised that in rehearsing for this show, we've all probably spent just as much time with each other as we have with our families. So, so it's been a <laughs> to be part of that big family. Um, and Sabira, one of the comments that we've had in the chat was how brilliant your children were in the in the show as well. And Josefa, I know he's not there with you right now, but he was so, so beautiful and articulate. And um, I just wondered if the children enjoyed it as part of being, being part of this family. I think they had a nice time. Yeah, really. Um... It's very good. We uh, are very happy. <laughs> Great. And for me, and and before I started this uh, group, uh, I have uh, like uh, shining to talk to write something is, but now I I get more like, experience for our group and yeah, it's very nice. I'm really happy. I'm so glad to hear it. Well, it has been such a pleasure to write with all of you and Sabira seeing you grow from, from feeling that shyness to now sharing your words literally across the world is just so incredible. And I just want to give a huge, huge congratulations to all of you again. Thank you everyone in the audience for, for being part of this, for sharing 
this joy with us over the last 40 minutes. Um, and thank you to each of you poets for inspiring us with your words. And I feel like I can still hear them humming beneath our feet as per the title of the show. Um, and I hope that everyone watching can as well. And that you're also inspired, like Sarah was saying, to go and write some poetry of your own because it's not something that is a scary thing to do. You can just put pen to paper and see what happens. Um, so we would encourage all of you to go, to go away and write um, and to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone again. Hi, Zach. <laughs> um, and to congratulate all of you and say a huge thank you to Migration Matters for hosting this and the whole of the rest of the festival. There is so much going on all week, so enjoy the rest of the show. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you again. Thank you so much, uh, Connie, Emily, and uh, all the Good Chance team. And thank you so much. Uh, this. For everybody who, uh, who was uh, oh attending. And for our group as well, thank you. Big thank you as well for your support been uh, writing with us so that's so 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 good thank you so much thank you all you've been brilliant thank you, yeah. bye. Bye, bye. bye 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 thank you bye. thank you very much for joining us for this migration matters festival online event we hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to make a donation please visit migrationmattersfestival.co.uk forward slash donate your donation will make a difference. Thank you.